we are going to use the rigid body physics and make this animation something like that so we will model these objects and then simply use the rigid body physics to design this uh, animation so go to file and make new i am not going to save it just let me use the shortcut you can see the shortcut here okay so this cube default cube we are going to use it press x s and then z to scale it in z direction something like that then s to scale and scale it in y direction like that now go to the edit mode by pressing the tab on your keyboard and then ctrl r to add loop and add to loop here and place it in the center by pressing the left click okay now we are going to move these loops in in the y direction so alt to select this whole loop and then g to move in y direction something like that and here verify the distance this distance must be minus 2 okay and same way alt and select this loop and g to move in y direction and move it here and this distance to okay then make sure you are in the face selection by pressing the 3 or go here and select this select this face then shift select this face and press i to insert these faces okay we we have to apply the scale go to the object mode by pressing the tab and here control a and apply this scale if you don't apply this scale when you are in the edit mode or when you are modi uh, using the modifier it will it will affect the operation of the uh, modifiers or the in the edit so go to edit by pressing the tab and now select press i to insert these faces now you can see we are inserting it in a right way something like that okay now just zoom in and press shift and select these faces these four faces also these faces and then e to extrude in z direction make sure you are in the z direction uh, like that okay now go to the object mode by pressing the tab and shift a to add the cylinder and rotate it or y and then pipe 90 to rotate it in the 90 then s to scale something like that and then scale it in s and x to scale it in the x direction something like that then make it smaller than s and now shift a and apply the scale now sh shade smooth it and select this one go here in data properties normals and auto smooth select this one now we needed to use the use this cylinder copy it shift d to copy a cylinder then left click to make the position in the previous one so here now we have two cylinders cylinder one and cylinder two okay now we needed to use the bevel so select this go to modifier and uh, sorry boolean select the boolean and for the object we are going to select this object and for here under the uh, three types intersect union difference make sure you are in the difference and select fast and apply this okay no you don't see the difference because this this one is here so hide it and this cylinder cylinder one the cylinder this cylinder it used in the modifier to make this cut so i hide it and also select it so cylinder show it and for this cylinder just go to the right side view by pressing 3 on numpad and scale it little bit something like that now you see the difference okay now again shift a and add a cube and make it smaller and then g move it in the x direction like that and same way we are going to uh, mirror this cube so go to modifier add a modifier and use the mirror modifier now mirror it in the y direction and for the mirror object we are going to select this one okay 
so it's mirror in the x direction and for the mirror object select this this object okay now go to the tab and here let me go to the object mode and control a to apply the scale then go to the edit mode by pressing the tab and i am going to select this face and then extrude it in the z direction something like that okay and then go to the object mode by pressing the tab and apply this modifier here we are going to press the shift a and add a plane and we are going to scale this plane like that and then by selecting this plane press 1 to go to the front view or 3 go to the, go to the right side view then g and then press z and move it like that okay now we are going to use the rigid body physics um, but before that let me add the sphere so shift a go to mesh and then add a uv sphere and then scale it like that and then press one on numpad and g and z move it like that then press three on numpad and g and z uh, not g g and y to move it here in this position so i am going to activate the x-ray by pressing this option here and so you can see it and also the wireframe okay so select this and then g and z and make it just above the surface of this seesaw and then shift b to duplicate it and move it in y then press y and place it like that and then okay and then shade smooth these spheres now our scene is ready we just have to uh, add the rigid body, body physics okay so for this this one we are going to go to the physics properties and add a rigid body and make it passive and also select this one mm -hmm. okay so this this is the and this one is passive then select this one and make it rigid body and it's active and same way select all of these add the rigid body and make it active also this one rigid body and make it active okay now we needed to add a rigid body constraint here so we can add it by selecting this and then press shift and select this and then go to the object and go to rigid body and add connect and here in the connect rigid bodies type we are going to select hinge hinge type so now you can see our uh, empty body is added here and it has the direction z let me scale it like that so we want to rotate this this one in the z direction so we needed to move it so r y not this one select this z this empty r y and we have to rotate it at this position so type 90 okay now we added the rigid body let's play and see what things are not done so you see the ball is moving upward and it's going like that so there is a mistake we have to find that mistake and correct it because the simulation is not behaving in the way in which we want so basically the mistake is the collision and the shape we have to select the mesh type for the shape so select this ball and select the mesh and select this ball and for the shape convex hole select mesh so make sure the mesh is selected for every component so now when you see it it's behaving in the way in which we want so this side is going down and it's going uh, more than what we want so how we can change it select this one this empty and here under the rigid body constraint you can see angular and the z angle and the lower and the upper value so we have to decrease it for the lower we have to select minus 20 and for the upper 
also 20 so now if we run it you can see it's just going at the angle of 20 like that okay so now it's going in only in one side we have to add some keyframe for the weight so if we select this ball it has the mass of 1 kg and also this pass, uh, ball or this sphere also have the mass of 1 kg so add here at this frame 180 we have to add a keyframe for this ball so select this ball and for the mass select this little dot add a keyframe and then go to 182 and change the mass to 2 kg and add a keyframe now if we run it again you can see it's moving downward and now it will move in the other direction like that so like that so we added a keyframe for the weight and it's going like that and then it's moving like that and the ball is coming outside from this box so just select this one and go press the tab and select these faces by pressing the shift and E to extrude in the Z direction like that and then go to the object mode so now try to see if the ball is coming out of the like that and then on the other direction like that okay so for the end frame we are going to increase it to 500 and zoom out for this timeline and select this ball so at here at this point it stopped so now we have to add a keyframe for this ball for the mass so it's one add here and then go to frame this frame and now this ball has the mass of 2 kg so this ball it will have the mass of 3 kg and add a keyframe so now see what happened it's going downward in this direction now it's going downward on the other direction and now Okay, so here it have a mass of 3, okay, so we have to go here under the scene properties and for the rigid body physics, uh, go to cache and for the simulation we have to also make it this and 500. And we also needed to bake this simulation at this point because we increase this so now it's going downward okay so at this frame now this ball go to the rigid body physics add a keyframe then move to next frame and this one now this ball has a mass of four uh, three kg for this one we will change it to 4 kg and now if you run it you can see it's going downward and this one going downward then this side Ask for and add a keyframe. Go to scene properties and bake it. 
so it's going downward then this one because we increase the mass then this one because we increase the mass and here this one because we increase the mass so this way by adding the key frames and uh, key frames for the mass we added these uh, properties the animate property add a keyframe for the location and by changing the mass of each one we can get this uh, the animation where one side is down, going downward and other is going upward so then you can uh, change the color for every every uh, every component and you can then render it